out to for bit tells me uh, says wow how far are you going to take this vendetta well i don't think it is a vendetta i simply think and i have thought for a long time that suella bravman simply is not um fit for public office now nobody was expecting her to go quietly and indeed when uh, number 10 Downing Street briefed journalists about her departure. We didn't know at the time that she'd been sacked by telephone and uh, we we didn't know initially that she'd been sacked. In fact, what we the impression we got was that she had resigned. She hadn't. She had been sacked. And the letter which she's written, I think, not only, well, it's intended to damage Rishi Sunak. I think it damages Suella Brabman almost beyond uh, survival. It's an appeal to the right wing of the party, to the baying wolves. What she says, th there are problems with her letter for the, for the centre part of the Conservative Party, which is clearly what um, David Cameron is intended to appeal to. But uh, when she says that Rishi Sunak has betrayed the pivotal commitment to stop the boats and that he is weak and that he hasn't stood up to the hate marches, the pro-Palestinian hate marches, uh, again, all of this is about her rhetorical firepower. But when she says that his plan is not working, that his resets have failed, that he is putting off tough, tough decisions, she is painting him as a prime minister without any backbone, that he wants to minimise political risk. She is saying that he has no, uh, no, no dynamic and no power. And then she, uh, she, she skewers this idea by saying he has no personal mandate to be prime minister. Now, it becomes extremely difficult with her hints that she has documentary evidence of the points that he agreed with her that he would follow um, as part of her deal to accept a job in his cabinet. Now, uh, on the one hand, that will fire up a, a a rally to the right wing but on the other hand no prime minister should be bound by such a ridiculous piece of paper Th that is the thing which i think I, I would like to see this piece of paper i'd be very interested because i think that piece of paper that idea that she can control and puppeteer and deliver a prime minister like the head of john the baptist on a plate that is what uh, tells us she is not fit for office. Because cabinet responsibility is about dealing with events, is about dealing with other people, is partly about compromise, but mostly is about debate and winning an idea, not about some sort of ideological um, diktat. If she wants an ideological diktat, she's in the wrong country. And she needs to go and find a dictatorship uh, that she can take over. And that probably is the biggest problem because who, who in the Conservative Party, who in the country would vote for this person to be prime minister? I think in the end, the person she damages is herself. Now, I've said in another post that I think that she should be stripped of her honour as a privy councillor. That's the thing which, for the rest of her life, means she can write right, honourable Suella Bravman in front of her name. It also means that, in theory, she can be called upon by the king to offer advice. She isn't capable of offering advice because her advice comes at the demand that everything she says must be taken at face value and must be acted upon, otherwise it's not worth her even making the effort to come along. A minister is there. A minister is there to take decisions based on advice and discussion. A minister is not there to dictate to the prime minister or to indeed any other member of cabinet. These people are not 
the puppets of one sole Machiavellian lord or lady. Suella Braverman was not some sort of Yago controlling the drinks cabinet, dishing out uh, what can and cannot be um, proffered to the public. No, that is not her role. Her role was simple. She was the Home Secretary, and she didn't get that right. And, in fact, people have suggested uh, recently that she was lazy, that she didn't do her job, and that certainly was the impression that I got. So this letter is bitter, and I think it destroys her credibility. But I think she should be, I think Rishi Sunak, if he were wise, would recommend to the king that he does something that I don't think has been done in recent history, which is to strip a former minister of her uh, position as a privy councillor. She should be sacked as a privy councillor because she has demonstrated that she doesn't have the right attitude to public office and she should never be offered public office again never i don't think she should stand any further any any longer as a member of parliament she has demonstrated a contempt for democracy which needs to be called out so far nobody has done so braverman has said that even if the government wins tomorrow about Rwanda, because of the compromises that you, Rishi, insisted on in the Illegal Migration Act, the government will struggle to deliver our Rwanda partnership in the way that the public expects. The public doesn't expect it. This is something that Suella Braverman imposed. It wasn't in the 2019 election manifesto, by the way. It wasn't. It was something concocted by Priti Patel and then by... Suella Braverman. This Rwanda, this Rwanda solution to a problem. Stop the boats. Stop the boats is reasonable. The solution to send people to Rwanda is not.